Do you guys remember several years ago now when Google started rolling out a feature called Smart Reply that basically looks at the message that you just got, maybe it's a message, maybe it's an email, and then tries to give you an intelligent suggestion for a reply to give you three or four different options that it thinks makes sense based on the prior message. I may be wrong about this, but did they roll that out as part of Google Inbox, which was a thing that I really, really enjoyed. Maybe it was Inbox or maybe it was Google Allo, one of their other messaging apps. Both of these apps are defunct and now gone. At any rate, that feature then made its way into Gmail and Google Messages. And it's a pretty decent feature that I use from time to time. Although I would say about half the time I use it, it is by accident. And I said messages that I did not actually mean to hit. I meant to hit the text box Instead, I send a, a very out-of-character reply. But at any rate, it is a fairly intelligent and fairly useful feature. But the world that we live in today has advanced far beyond that because of things like generative AI, things like Bing, Chat, Chat, GPT, so forth and so on. We have seen Microsoft integrating Bing, Chat into their own keyboard, into their web browser. And Google is uh, intent on not being left behind because we have a report from 9to5Google, which I have condensed into a couple of tweets with some helpful images for this to kind of tell this story. They are integrating BARD, which is their version of Bing Chat, their version of ChatGPT, directly into Google Messages with a new feature, or really a set of new features. So not necessarily taking the place of Smart Reply, but augmenting these abilities is something that they're calling Magic Compose. So let's look at this image here, or set of screenshots directly from 9to5Google. I will link to their article in the description down below. You can see here Magic Compose Experiment is toggled on and then over here you have your smart replies up top but you also have a series of replies and in fact there are more than can actually be seen on the screen here and they are using the context of the prior messages in a much more intelligent way. So here we just have yay some emojis thanks but this one here in particular I'll bring the chalk to. It is reading these messages and giving you a responses that are much more human-like and like I said, just much more intelligent and useful. But beyond that, we can also take a message, okay, I'll move the van, and then have it be rewritten in several different styles. Now, we've already seen something like this be a Bing inside SwiftKey. Microsoft rolled this out a little while ago, but this is based basically the same thing, but integrated directly into the Google Messages app. I guess you have to wonder, does it make more sense to have this in the app or in the keyboard that you're using? And I think that there may not be a right answer here. It's going to come down to what people actually end up using more. And I don't think that we know the answer to that yet. So we're seeing two different strategies being taken here by Microsoft and by Google. And it's going to be really interesting to see which one actually ends up being used more. Now, I will say Google does seem to have more different options for the rewriting of the text, and they definitely seem to be a bit sillier in their options as well. Now, like we saw with Bing Chat, I do think that this is going to wind up being just the first of many steps for Google and for BARD, their language model. I expect to see this rolled out into as many places as possible. Google Messages makes sense here, but what about Gmail? What about their keyboard? What about Chrome? Like I said earlier, Bing is actually built into the Edge browser itself now. And I think that all this stuff will be coming down the pipe for Google Bard as well. But I do want to know from you guys, I want to hear what you think about where Bard and Bing make the most sense. Where can you see yourself using it the most to not just generate responses and messages based on context, but also to rewrite the things you're trying to say in perhaps a more fun or maybe a more professional way, or even to search. That's a big difference with Bing right now in the many places it is integrated, is it can do these searches that you're used to seeing with Bing chat on your web browser already directly inside that keyboard or inside that web browser. And that's something that BARD is not yet doing. It would be really nice to see this integration with BARD into Google Messages, be able to do something like that already. We've seen this with some of the smart reply stuff, right? Somebody says, hey, let's go see a movie tomorrow night. And it gives you an option to embed a link into that message list of showtimes for local theaters. Let's take that about a million steps further with BARD built in there as well. That's kind of where Bing is pushing. Let's see BARD do that sort of thing as well. I think it will be very, very cool. But like I said, sound off in those comments down below about what you think. I will see you on the next video. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friend.